Hey everyone, I'm Fiona. My project title is Unleashing the Power of Private Large Language Models in Environmental Expertise. This project is supported by Posse and Cyro. Large language models such as ChatGPT are commonly used in chatbots. While chatbots are very popular, they have certain limitations, including concerns about data leakage, outdated information, suboptimal performance on domain knowledge, and limited information about enterprises. In this project, I propose a private system with three innovations to address those limitations. Firstly, it operates privately on a local machine or network. Second, the model is fine-tuned to be an expert in environment and sustainability. And finally, a retriever is added before the model connected to a database, allowing the model to have a comprehensive knowledge base about enterprises. I have chosen to use the Mistral 7B model due to its performance and open license. The data was provided by Cyro and the computing resources used are Sotonix from Posse. And now let's take a closer look at the methods. For the fine-tuning, I started with the LLM that is pre-trained using journal knowledge and then fine-tuned the model with environmental knowledge to yield the fine-tuned LLM as a domain expert in environment. It will then be able to provide more informative responses when prompted with relevant questions. For the fine-tuning part, the goal is to improve the model's performance in answering questions about the environment. Based on the goal, the data for the fine-tuning consists of general knowledge about the environment gathered from a curated list of web links, which is then processed and cleaned. In addition to the dataset, the parameters for the fine-tuning also have a significant impact on the performance. To determine the optimal performance, a learning rate range test is conducted. From the results, the optimal learning rate is found to be 5 times 10 to the negative 5 with a constant scheduler, and this combination produces minimal loss. In addition to experimenting with fine-tuning, the Retrieval Augmented Generation System is also explored. The idea is that, when a prompt is given, it first goes through the Retriever, which searches a vector store containing predefined enterprise information to retrieve the relevant document. So both the prompt and the document are then fed into the fine-tuned LLM. The LLM uses reasoning ability to craft a response and return it to the user. The fine-tuning improves the model's general knowledge in the environmental domain, while the RAC system provides relevant context to solve the lack of information issue. And now I will present the results. From the loss curves, we see that although the loss is jittery, it shows an overall decreasing trend. So this means that the model's performance in adapting to complexity of the training data is not very stable, but the training is still effective due to the decreasing losses. The most straightforward way of evaluation will be looking at the inference directly. I asked the model what is climate change. The base model says climate change is a fact and our response to it is not. While it suggests that we should take actions, it does not provide any details or facts about climate change. Moving on to the model that I find to using the shorter dataset, the short model, it pointed out that temperature has risen about 1.8 degrees. So this is a more detailed response with relevant facts. And lastly, the long model, where I used a larger dataset for fine-tuning, recognizes climate change not only as an environmental concern, but also as a social and economic issue. It also points out its relevance to Earth's biosphere. This response is more in-depth and contains extension to the topic. From these responses, we can see that the fine-tuned models show an obvious improvement in contextual relevance and informativeness. However, there is a trade-off in sentence clarity due to some random symbols. This is the benchmark result of the base model compared with the two fine-tuned models. Interestingly, both fine-tuned models have increased scores in ARC and HelloSwap benchmarks. Therefore, the first conclusion is that the fine-tuning improved capabilities in scientific queries and common sense reasoning, which are the areas that the two benchmark tests are about. However, for the benchmarks that has a broader knowledge, the MMLU and the GSMAK, the scores decreased. This shows that the balance of domain expertise and information broadness has a trade-off. And finally, based on the average, the fine-tuned model with the longer dataset is the top performer, and both fine-tuned models outperform the base model. So this attests to the effectiveness of the fine-tuning. The last set of results comes from the custom evaluation. The green bars represent the models without adding the retriever, and the blue ones represent the models with the retrievers. From the average scores, the long fine-tuned model with the RAC framework is the top performer, attesting to the effectiveness of the RAC system. Lastly, based on the goal of the project, I'm keen to explore the business value of the research. I have created a minimum viable product using the Streamlit framework. This is the user interface. So the user selects the purpose of the search, 
whether it is for research assistance or for knowledge retrieval, and answers a follow-up question. For example, the user wants the help of knowledge retrieval and the domain is environmental knowledge, so they will select that option. This step is for prompt engineering. And next, the user enters the prompt. For example, he could ask for Cyril's strategy for climate change. So the prompt then goes through the retriever, which returns the text corpus retrieved and the relevant uh, document. And in this case, it searched a report. So the result of the retriever along with the user's prompt will be fed into the generator. And finally, the generator will return an answer. So this answer was produced by the fine-tuned Mistral model and everything was run locally without the need for any cloud-based LLM. Some further directions include trying different models, using more data processing to clean the tests, and deploying the MVP. And that's all for my project. Thanks for listening.